Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab and I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your old MacBook Pro. This is going to be really cool and really simple and very effective for people on a budget. So this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012, a 2.9 gig i7 with 8 gigs in it, right? And uh, it doesn't do a very good job of running the new Serato DJ Pro, but check this out. Look at it now. Now... It's an M1, it's a Mac Mini. And you're wondering probably how that's all done, right? Well, this is very simple. There is a program here. Just do a search for it called Screen Share. Mm, and it's not there on the Mac Mini, but I'll tell you where it is. When we go now, you see it says screen sharing. So we do that search for screen. Whoop, I don't know if I can type here. Let's get in there. Screen. Screen sharing app, right? I'm gonna show you. So let's disconnect. I'm gonna close the screen sharing app, right? So now we're gonna open that up again. And what you do, so the whole deal about this is getting yourself a Mac mini M1. I picked mine up used Canadian for 600 bucks. It was a steal, right? Um, so yeah, I got the Mac Mini hooked up, and I hooked it up to a display to kind of set it all up, but now I don't even need to have it hooked up to a display, because I just leave the Mac Mini on, and I've got the Mac Mini set up to bypass all the password stuff when I turn it on, and automatically launch Serato, and it does it quick. So then on my uh, MacBook here, I can just connect, so you just have to go into your um, Mac Mini and just look up your, uh, your router... IP4, that's like in the network sense. You'll find, it's easy enough. I hit connect. Of course, I gotta type in my uh, my name and password that logs into the Mac Mini. And then, up at the top here, you just uh, go full screen with that thing. And boom, I'm in here. So now I'm in the Mac Mini, because it was in sleep mode. But you can leave it out of sleep mode, I guess. And then when I go Serato full screen, and there we go. We got Serato running full screen, and the Prime 4 is plugged into the Mac Mini over there. See, it's over there. So I did this trick on the other video where I was uh, pulling in tracks, and I had no wire, right? But that's the whole cool thing about this. So the truth is, people are going to maybe say to me like what's the point well here's the point i could still at a gig if i was going to pull this thing out at a gig i could have my laptop sit on my keyboard if i brought a mac mini i would by itself i would need to hook up a monitor and have a keyboard and it's kind of inconvenient where this i've got the monitor i got the keyboard so why not make use of it i can tuck that mac mini away inside a flight case underneath I don't know, I haven't tried doing that, but it would be an idea to have that thing stashed on its side and just use this as a remote operation because there's absolutely zero leg. I mean, let me just... There's zero leg. Let me go to the extended view here. And this Mac Mini with the M1 runs stems like instantly. I mean, as fast as I can pull a track in. And this is stuff being pulled in from uh, Beatport Link as well. So it's quick. Look at this. Okay, it's just, we got, let's uh, scroll into something here. So yeah, 
this is a great way to you know keep using your old macbook pro because maybe it doesn't have the specs anymore it can't handle serato 3.0 but you know what look around pick up that mac mini m1 cheap and you can set it all up and uh keep rocking the laptop with the power of an m1 chip thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel hit the alert button i will talk to you guys all soon